Hello! I said hello! What's happening in the world? Today's March 28th. My name is Reagan. Here are your past week's headlines. We began our week with Myanmar committing crimes against humanity. Yes, genocide against the Muslim population. COVID-19 cases are rising in the UK, and here in, de- in the US, detection of COVID in US wastewater is showing an increase of 35%. Shit's all fucked up. President Biden went to Europe this week to meet with NATO and talk about Ukraine. And so his back is against the wall, and uh, he's now he's talking about new false flags he's setting up, including he's asserting that we, America, have biological as well as chemical weapons in Europe. Simply not true. I guarantee you. They're also suggesting that Ukraine has biological and chemical weapons in Ukraine. That's a clear sign he's considering using both of those. Fuck! 132 people crashed on a Boeing 737 in China. And 82 square miles burned in West Texas. UN Secretary General Guterres warns goals to keep global warming to 1.5C is on life support. The United Nations top official warned Monday the Paris Agreement's goal of limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius is on life support. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres said countries would need to cut global emissions nearly in half by 2030 in order to have a chance of reaching the 1.5 degree target. Last year alone, global energy-related CO2 emissions grew by 6 percent to their highest level in history. Coal emissions have surged to record highs. We are sleepwalking to climate catastrophe. Our planet has already warmed by as much as 1.2 degrees, and we see the devastating consequences everywhere. If we continue with more of the same, we can kiss 1.5 goodbye. Even 2 degrees may be out of reach. We've already passed it if you move the baseline back. Also, climate change has made allergy season worse, which I felt on last week's episode. NATO NATO says stalemate in Ukraine-Russia war is likely, and Zelensky says fuck you to Nestle, the world's largest food and beverage company and maker of Gerber, Kit Kat, and Dreyer's ice cream for their continued ties to Russia. Cancel them. And the White House met with CEOs of ExxonMobil, JP Morgan, and Bank America, among other companies, to talk about Ukraine, not American citizens, and also warn the potential cyber attacks from Russia. Because fuck the American people. The CEOs have more important conversations. Zelensky asked Germany for help again, and this from Fox News, President Biden goes for a bike ride at the beach as Ukraine President warns of Third World War. Former President Trump dodges questions on whether humans cause climate change. In my opinion, you have a thing called weather, he says. A dog bought a week ago kills a 17-month-old girl in St. Helen's home. Good dog. 3.5 million people have fled Ukraine, and that number is rising. But Ikea is in India. Whoa. Tornadoes in southeast Texas and Oklahoma. Tons of damage ripped up Houston County. Then, then... Two new species of see-through frogs were named in Ecuador. The amphibians, which live only 13 miles apart, can look completely alike but are genetically diverse. A surprise to scientists. I'm going to try hard here. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Hyaloninobactracheum mashpee. There we go. One of the newly discovered species is known for its high-pitched whistle and black dots covering the body, which could also act as camouflage and and its rainforest environment. It's official. NASA confirms we've found 5,000 worlds outside this solar system. Yes, exoplanets. And Maripol in Ukraine is being reduced to ashes. Jin Saki got COVID again, and the Conger ice shelf collapses in eastern Antarctica. A first. This is when record temperatures soared like 40 degrees above normal. They had a heat wave simultaneously in the North and South Pole. Wee. A tornado crashed through New Orleans, and one person died. Have you ever been to New Orleans? It's magical. It's magical. Magic! Moderna vaccine is safe for kids, and more NATO forces were sent to Eastern Europe. 
Russia has confirmed to have been committed war crimes and are using cruise missiles. They struck a fuel depot and some other shit. But, but Russia also says that you can only give payment to them in rubles. On the other hand, we're going to get 100,000 Ukrainian refugees, and we're going to sanction more Russian elites. Thursday marked one month of Russia invading Ukraine. Damn, March flew by, didn't it? Lazinsky told the world to protest Russia, and North Korea launched an intercontinental missile, which is capable of hitting anywhere in mainland America. Can we get another we? Okay. A curfew at Miami Beach to protect from shootings, which is out of control. Shots fired, shots fired. Stephen Wilhide, who created GIFs, died of COVID, but he pronounced it near the end, GIFs. So now we know. Irish Prime Minister was taken off the stage, probably about to get silenced. And people over 60 account for a third of greenhouse gas emissions. Time to go. North Hollywood high school students walk out to demand climate to demand action on climate change. And Biden says we stand with Ukraine, period. Putin shouldn't remain in power, which Blinken had to walk back those statements the next day and said, you know, any country can have their own. And the Oscar awards went down, but nobody cares. This has been your March 28th What's Happening in the World update. My name is Reagan, the Doom Wizard. And again, hit the like, subscribe, share this video, consider becoming a Patreon to support independent journalism and or PayPal. And I'll catch you guys next week on what's happening in the world. Take care.